channel my name is Michelle and this is Violet Cottage Crafts and this is going to be um, a crochet um, uh, video basically things that I have been crocheting over the last couple of months I haven't made a video recently showing everything that I've crocheted because I haven't I didn't feel that I'd done a lot so I wanted to wait until I got a few things to show you all um, so first of all, I'm going to slot in a video that I made a while ago um, for something for two things that I made and um, that had to go off as gifts. So I'm going to slot those in now. So we're going to hand over to Michelle in the past. Hi everybody, this is Michelle from the past and I'm just slotting this video in on my usual video because I've got two things that I've made. Um, crocheted that is going off to its new owner today so I need to film these before they go so that you can all see them so the first thing that I have that I've made is this little lovey or huggy whatever you want to call it and um, which is from a book that I shall pop in I'll move him a minute I'll pop in here because I can't remember the name of it um, that I've had for a little bit now um, and this is the mouse now obviously he's not exactly the same as the mouse in the book um, because it's going to a baby so I didn't put um, safety eyes in and it's my first time of having a go at making these so I was a little bit unsure about sewing on the arms and the head but I think I've done a good job and I've had a good test for it going to a baby that they're not going to come off um so yeah he's he's um so he's like a granny square oh let's turn you around the other way no that's a bit better even though you're upside down so it's like a granny square <laughs> with a mouse on and he just goes oops sorry like that i think he's so cute so so cute lovely um and so yes, he is going off to meet his new friend. He's a little bit shy, but I'm sure that the person that I've forgotten the baby's name, but I'm sure he'll be very, very, very nice to you. <laughs> right. It's either Oliver or Oscar. I can't remember. So there's a no. I always get names mixed up. Um I don't know. I can't remember. It's one of those two names. And then the other thing that I've made for him is this little giraffe teething ring rackle oh it's, it's, this thing's a little bit bright on it Ooh. I'll bring him back here again so yeah he's so he's got a rattle in him and obviously he's got the ring as well this was a pattern off Etsy and I shall try and remember to put it in the notes down below so yes so those two things are off to their new home and hopefully um they'll be they'll be enjoyed for a well, you know a while anyway <laughs> so that's i'm going to pass you back now to michelle in the future so now that we're back in the present i shall start to show you what i've been working on recently um so um in fact, actually, before I go into that, I'm just going to go through a little kind of little few things, um, uh, personal things, <laughs> just just because I know some people do this, and if you don't don't like it, then um, you know I will try and remember to slot in time time stamps. But um, I haven't been doing as much um, crafting wise um, recently because I've been getting a lot of pain in my hand. A lot of you probably. Um, suffer the same you get a lot of pain in your hand when you're doing a lot of crocheting um, and also because I work in an office so I get a lot of repetitive um, injuries from typing and using a mouse and pen etc um, and also um, I, um, I'll just go into a bit of my background of health I've never been a very healthy person unfortunately as a kid I was always ill and if I could catch something I would always catch it um, but when I was 13, I had um, a spinal fusion for scoliosis and I do have a lot of issues from that. Um, I have a lot of back pain, I get neck pain and shoulder pain, shoulder blade pain, uh, a lot of sciatica. But my 
my problem has now gone into my my sciatica has gone sort of through my legs and because I've also been diagnosed as starting the perimenopause so as you probably know if you've gone through that you have a lot of problems with um with like weight gain brain fog um being hot all the time um night sweats not sleeping very well uh, just so many different things i could go into for the perimenopause i'd be here all day if i went through everything clumsiness is a big one for me um so um i've um obviously i'm trying to lose some weight but it's it's not really happening so now i've got plantar fasciitis in my feet in both feet so i'm struggling a lot with um a lot of pain at the moment through my feet and stuff um so and also um a few years ago i was diagnosed with gallstones and i had to have my gallbladder out and i've had a lot of complications from having the gallbladder out and i'm currently waiting to see a specialist about that um I get a lot a lot of pain in my um upper uh, abdomen um so so yeah I, so sometimes I just, I get very, I feel very sluggish and tired. Um, so whereas um, when I'm feeling really well, I will, I will stay up until like one o'clock in the morning crafting. But I haven't, I've been, as soon as I've gone to bed, I've been wanting to go to sleep. So I am not getting as much done at the moment. I'm hoping that something's going to happen and change soon so that I can get a um, bit more energy and uh yeah just get back into crafting a bit more but um i'm not com i'm not gonna i'm not complaining i'm just telling you um i'm just putting it out there because i know there are people who are in a lot worse circumstances so i'm not complaining at all um you know i'm quite lucky in the fact that it's not too bad um so yeah i'm gonna i'm now gonna go on to what i've been doing uh, so, I've been doing a couple of granny squares. In fact, I've got some more that I've started, but I've left them upstairs because they're not very big at all. Um, I just want to, I just kind of started them to see what the um, kind of what the colours would be like, and and to work out whether or not I was using the right hook size. But I've got this is um, a granny square project that I have started. This big bag is full of all the wool for it. And what I've decided to do with this one is to use neon colours with black so I've got let me see one two three four five six seven I think I've got seven different I thought I've got eight right I have six or eight I've got seven different colours um so we've got like I think it is I think that's right so we've got the the yellow, the pink, the green, the purple, the orange, the green, the blue, then we're back to the yellow and obviously the black in between each row. So this, um, it's getting getting to the point now where when I'm, when I'm um, crocheting it, it's like I am actually wearing, because that's what somebody said um, on something I watched recent or something I read recently is when you're making a blanket and it starts to get big and it's winter, it's great because then <laughs> you've got you've got um a blanket on you as as you're crocheting so yeah i really like this it looks really nice and the colors look really nice i know it's probably not everybody's cup of tea but i really like it um <laughs> yep so so that's i don't know if you can see just how big it is i'm gonna lean back as much as i can so that's that's that one so that I'm just picking up because it's got black as we all know black can be a bit of a pain sometimes when knitting and crocheting to be able to see so I need to be able to do this in the daytime if I'm doing the black row and I've just finished a purple row so I'm now up to the black so I need to do that during the day <laughs> so so that's one of our projects that will be going for a while um, so you'll eventually at some point in this channel hopefully see me say I finished it <laughs> I can't remember when I started it I've got another granny square project um, one of the um, oh, well it was two balls of wool 
that I got from um, Good Vibes Yarn. I got this ball of wool that's all different colours and I thought oh well there's two balls of wool so it'll make um, an alright size. I'm probably going to put it on my chair in my office upstairs and again just hold it up. So at the moment it's the size where it, it fits in the screen. There we go. So that's nice. I do this, I mainly um, crochet this when we're in the car. Uh, if we're going on a long trip in the car. Um, I can't do it all the way sometimes I start to get a headache because I do get travel sick. So I might do, what I, what I usually do is I do a couple and then I have a minute where I watch the road. Do another couple, watch the road. Um, but yeah, that's coming on nicely. And that's inside of one of my bags that I got from the um, Leeds, um, I don't know what it's called. It's got a name and I can't remember. But the Leeds um, show, it's not, I've not folded it very well. But that, people who do not <laughs> sock, sock knitting tend to use these because they put it round the their arm what's the so they'll be doing the sock and then they've got the wool there but I just I'm just using it for my to just grab quickly when we're going in the car so there's that and then I've brought um let's have a look what should I move first right this is a completed one I'll show you a completed one so this is called a Chloe doll that I have completed recently and I've just started another one and this is um, a pattern that I saw on Stitchity Doodles channel. If you ever watch her, I'll try and remember to put her information um, down below. Um, so this is a Chloe doll. I can't remember the name of the website. I think it was a free pattern. And she also has patterns, I think, on Etsy. I'll put the information below. I'll try and put the name of the woman across the bottom of here as well. So she's really nice. And this is the first time that I've done a doll where you start from the feet and you um, crochet up. And also she is like basically kind of one piece. So she, you do the legs and then you do the knickers. And that's when you join the two legs together. And then you just work up to the neck and then you come back out for the head and back in and then obviously like you'll do the arms and the and the hair separate but this is the first time I think that I've ever done anything from starting from the feet I think I've always started from the head and most of the things that I do um of that which I hate is where you have to attach the head to the body separately now I do know some people modify their patterns so that they they don't have to do that but i've tried i've tried that in knitting and not uh, not been 100 percent successful with it head's not still been a bit floppy <laughs> so i'm and i will try it and think maybe next time i get one like that i've just thought of another another one that i've nearly finished and not brought down but i'm, I'm gonna try and leave that one until i've done it it is a, another doll but that one's i've got to put the head on i've got the body i've got the head i've got to attach them and you know it's like what 12 stitches and i am freaking out over it <laughs> please tell me if you if you're a crocheter or a knitter how you feel about things i love this is why i've gone from being an avid knitter for years and saying oh I don't, I don't like crochet I don't want to crochet to, to loving crochet because everything's kind of like just everything's together you know you don't have I had to sew the arms on and, and and the head cap and the buns but they're not too bad for sewing on but when you have to do like the neck because you've got to make sure that your head's straight and stuff like that I really do hate it <laughs> And also, with Amigurumi, obviously, you don't have seams that you have to sew up at the back because it winds me up so much when I do, when I knit something and it looks so nice and then I sew it together and I end up unpicking it and, 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 and doing all sorts of different things with it because I just, I'm not happy. I am a perfectionist, which doesn't help. Some people will probably just sew it and go, yeah, it'll do. I'm not like that. <laughs> I like it to be perfect. 
so this doll i the pattern's really easy i would say she's she's an intermediate pattern because obviously you you're doing the skirt because i was nervous i've never done um a skirt like that before so i was nervous and then putting her little sash on and everything um putting the little details of her fringe on so but i think if you were an advanced beginner or even a um ambitious beginner that you could probably do this um i don't want to say for definite but she is a lovely doll and it is it's a really nice pattern and like i say i'm making another one of her in a different color now and i'm going to put the her different i'm going to put the buns at the top um because she's got two versions on on the pattern she shows it with with the the buns here and the buns on top and I think there might be one where there's a bun just on one side but I, I'm not sure because of the way the picture is but yes I've really enjoyed making this pattern and I've made it with um I think it's style craft wool I think it's all style craft wool I'm just wondering about the the, the actual um skin colour might not be but you can get that colour in style craft well anyway but yeah I'm sure she's made with all style craft um wool um style craft double knit not Aran or chunky style craft double knit this that's my go-to um that's that's my favorite yarn to use for for most things to be honest it's not very expensive and there's a lot of colours so I, I like and it's easily accessible to me it's quite a few shops around me sell it and they sell it online so it's great so there's there's little um chloe and then next i've got um something i crocheted um quite a few weeks ago i haven't actually finished this yet i need to do the um the unicorn part of it for his eye mask but this is a pattern again i got off etsy and it's a little uh, gonk and he's got he's going he's very sleepy he's got his um eye mask on and like i say the pattern he has um like some flowers a unicorn horn and a little i think sleepy eyes um not drawn on um you know stitched on i think that's all he needs doing so he's almost finished and i used f um felting um i don't know if it's called felting wool for his beard of stuff that I'd had in. So if you can see, it's got a couple of different, actually on the camera, it really looks like it's half and half, but um, it wasn't meant to be like that. And then we've just got a little bit of sort of a pinky color creeping in there. Um, but I really love him, he's so cute. And he's in my favorite colors, like yellow and purple. So yeah, there we go. That is him, so he's almost finished, but <laughs> again it's one of those it's like I look at him and I think I need to finish him off but then I think oh I can't be bothered finding all the colors again that I need <laughs> and sometimes it's it's like with um, the Chloe doll the little um, flowers you think oh that's dead quick and it was but actually sewing everything on and getting it right then takes forever so sometimes the little tiny finishing bits that make it I just go, oh, I can't be bothered because there's some things I'm going to show you now and I'm at that point now where I haven't done much more with them because of that. But yeah, so I, I, he's lovely. And again, these patterns, I've got a few of these and I haven't um, done, I've bought them and I haven't done them, but this pattern's really easy. Um, really nice patterns. Again, I'll put the um, person's information in on the show notes. So there's that. And then the next thing I've got is like him. <laughs> now this is not finished, as you can see. This one, I love his beard. Um, this one's a moose. I think it's a moose. So he's going to have like moose horns coming out of him. Uh, that sounds uh, a bit terrifying. It's got moose horns coming out of him. Uh, <laughs> sorry, love. Um, but yeah, that's... Um... <laughs> That's my gonk. That this this has been sat in my room. It's actually sat on my windowsill most of the time, or next to my computer, saying, "I need to be finished." But I just the moose horns are terrifying me. Um, 
I, they look like they're going to be complicated or I'm just going to get really frustrated with them. Um, but I need to do them. I need to at least give him some arms. I mean, the arms are easy. I need to at least give him arms. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, in the next couple of videos, I'll be saying, I've got it finished. <laughs> so there's him. Again, I can't remember if his pattern from the same person. I think it is the same. There's a few on Etsy that are very, very similar. Um, so if it's the same person as the um, unicorn one, uh, then their information hopefully will already be there. Now this one, this is a rabbit I did probably about two, two years ago and this is knitted. This is a pattern I got off um, Etsy as well and I've got a yellow one of these that I think I probably showed in one of my earliest videos. I may have shown her as well. Well, she needs um, embroidery putting on her and then a little um, little bow around her neck. Um, and she needs it. I think she needs it. She deserves it like her sister. Um, <laughs> but I just, again, it's like, I know it's something that's not going to take forever. But I can't, I just can't find the um, the mojo kind of thing to do it. So she's kind of sat in my craft room looking at me every day because she sat on the shelf next to my computer um, or near my computer saying, please sort me out, please. So I need to, I thought if I show her to you, then maybe in a couple of um, videos time, if I've not shown her again, you can come in on the notes and say, why have you not finished that bunny rabbit? Why have you not finished the moose? There's some accountability from, from my watchers. But she is lovely. I love her and I love the colour of her. I love my yellow one that I have. It's in my lounge. Um, so that's that one. And then this one, I'm going to might ask for a little bit of um, help from people for this one. So this is a knitted one. Again, I think this pattern was from Etsy. <laughs> I didn't realise just how big his hat is. So this is like a little gnomey gonk. As you can see, I love gonks i've got this is i'm sat in my kitchen and this is like my little utility area of my kitchen and this is the dog um half of it because i've got my dog treats there um and the dog's bed is just under here where if you had um my washing machine's over the other side um if you had a like a i don't have one but if you had a dryer you would put the dryer here but the dog's bed is down here he's not on it he's in the lounge He's lounging about in the lounge today. Um, but yeah, this is um, a really cute gonk knitting pattern. Now on the pattern, um, because I've done it in a different colour, I think. I think, if I remember correctly, he's actually like a B uh, pattern. So I think he's in like yellow and brown or something like that. And on his hat, he's got like an embroidered um b hexagon shapes i think it's hexagon i'm not very good with shapes um and so obviously i don't want to do that with him because he's not the right color um but i can't make my mind up what to do about his um his wonderfully massive hat needs some sort of a pattern on it and i was going to do flowers but then i was like i don't know because he's a boy and he might not want flowers but then I thought, well, I don't know. I don't know. I did think about putting some buttons on, but I didn't like that. I kind of placed them on and I didn't like them and I couldn't find the exact colour. And then again, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So, so yeah, he's he's sort of sat waiting to be, to be finished. Some people might look at him and say he looks fine as he is. But I don't feel, I feel like this is a lot of space to just have nothing at all on it. Um, obviously you, you could have striped it but because his bottom half is striped it wouldn't have worked um, and I like the bottom half striped so so yeah but he's, he's really cute love him his beard's a bit mad he's a bit good good brush <laughs> um, but yeah so I um, that's not all my uh, unfinished work I've got a lot of unfinished work um, but I have a good sort out of my room um last week so a lot of things came out there were some things that i'd forgotten about as well it's like oh i've forgotten about that. i didn't i didn't even realize i'd started making that um so yeah <laughs> i 
I've got um, an Army Groomy book that I've ordered off Amazon that is a pre-order. So that will be arriving in, I think it's beginning on mid-September, about three weeks' time. So I'll be having um, a flick through, kind of look at review of that book coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I should hopefully be doing another um, floss tube video in the next couple of weeks again because I've not been feeling brilliant um, in the evening and been really tired. I haven't done a lot of that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I hope that all my all my viewers are um, doing well. And, um, yeah, I, I just hope you're all doing well. I just get to the end of the video and I never know what to say. Um, but thank you if you've stuck to the end of the video. Thank you so much because I know what I'm like. I, I don't always make it to the end of a video. So thank you if you have. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel because uh, it really helps me to get more views, If you especially if you like it. Um, if you want to comment, even if it's just putting a heart, a smiley face or something, um, that would be great. Um, it's, this is a little channel. I do want to do more with it, but unfortunately at the moment I can't. I've got some plans in my head, but actually getting into those plans at the moment with how I'm feeling is not working out. Um, but yeah, I want to make it a bit more interesting rather than it just being me sat talking to you. I want to do, I want to get a bit more information going, going on about crochet and knitting and maybe some tutorials and stuff. So until the next time, thank you very much for watching and stay safe and well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.